Well, that's a wrap for another day of action here at Summer League in Las Vegas. And Liam, it ended with another really solid performance from Jack White out there. Solid is a good word for it. I reckon it was a solid performance. He just came out and played well. Um, came off the bench again, but um, came out and did all the things he needed to do. Got on the glass, played well defensively, and he knocked down shots. A couple of knockdowns from long range for Jack White was just what the doctor ordered. A big block, that was a highlight real play, and then an and one finish just to cap it off. 14 points, about a half dozen boards, um, a, a, an all round nice performance from Jack White uh, to help the Nuggets get a win. And he looked pretty relaxed after the game as well, which is always a very good sign. A few other Aussies on court as well today. How did they go? Uh, pretty well. Luke Travers was back out there. He looks good. I mean, it wasn't shown on the box. We had four and four and a little bit of change, but um, he just looks really comfortable out there, doesn't he? He's got the size, he's got the length, um, he's got all the instincts. So while he might not have been putting a whole bunch of points or boards or blocks on the board, uh, he was doing good things. Uh, to Jim McCall was out there, the Taipans import. He played well, double figures for him. So a couple of guys doing some nice things. Hugo Besson, we talked about yesterday, he had a DNP for the Bucks, but he, he finally got an opportunity today and it feels like he, he sort of took it with both hands, didn't he? Yeah, it was cool. He was well and truly in the rotation and he knocked down a couple of triples in the first quarter. I'd said last night, I reckon he's going to come out and have 17 points today and I thought, we're on to something here in that first term, but it cooled down from there. Continued to make the right play, but didn't really just kind of catch fire like we've seen happen with Hugo Besson on the NBL Hardwood. So he's just trying to stay ready, trying to stay positive. And look, they've got another couple of games. Who knows, maybe he can catch fire and have a breakout performance. Plenty happening off the court today mm. as well. The NBL front officers are, are well and truly out and about recruiting and having those conversations in, in front of us as well for us to see. So we can see them sitting in the stands. We can see who they are speaking to as well. It's been really interesting, hasn't it? Yeah, it feels like that part of the Summer League for the NBL people here ramped up today. The concourse was just very busy with meeting after meeting and um, teams are starting to get some things done. Of course, the Kings, they were telling us yesterday that defensive-minded wing is in the books. They're looking for the stretch five. Oh, I heard a really interesting name connected to the Kings and that position today, Jared Utoff. The nephew of, of course, the man Mountain, who has been on NBL radars for years, but has always been just a little bit out of the price range. I don't know whether that's going to happen. I know Japan's interested in him as well. Um, but some other guys as well, Davidas Servitas. Did I say that correctly? <laughs> Davidas, um, Lithuanian guy, put 25 on the board for the Pelicans, jumped onto NBL radars over the past 48 hours, and a couple of clubs were meeting with his representatives today. So a bit going on. Yeah, I feel like Sammy McKinnon might have uh, alluded to that name today when I spoke to him out in the concourse as well. Spoke to him about the next stars as well. You also caught up with Tommy Greer. He was a very happy man as well after the official announcement of Trey Kell being signed. Uh, but in terms of the next star conversation, there seems to be a lot happening, doesn't there? Yeah, a bit going on. So there's some next stars clearly in play right now. now does that mean they'll get over the line and be coming to the NBL? Not necessarily, but there are some teams talking with Jeremy Lowliger, the commissioner, and the next stars and their representatives trying to get them over the line. So we've got three right now, don't we? Hook Porty, no, two, Hook Porty and um, Rayan Rupert and uh, maybe one or two others, depending on how things play out. Day eight here at Summer League tomorrow, who's on the court? Well, Luke Travers is back, so hopefully he can come out and have a, have a big one. And Hugo Besson as well, both those guys backing up, both looking for a breakout, eye-catching performance um, to ramp things back up. Yeah, a bit of momentum for both of them as well. So fingers crossed that they do okay out there. I'm sure plenty happening off the court as well. More announcements, no doubt, on the way. We will keep you guys updated and we we'll see you tomorrow.